this is Karen Peters with Renovated Faith, and I'm here to show you how I sand furniture. Now, one of my favorite DIY tools is an electric sander, and I highly recommend getting one if you're gonna sand a furniture piece or a couple. They're surprisingly cheap and super easy to use. A piece of furniture like this will take less than five minutes to sand. And one thing to note, I think sanding gets kind of a bad rap you are not sanding to get off every square inch of paint or stain. Who wants to do that? You are simply going over the surface to rough it up or give it tooth, as some people say, so that it accepts paint or stain in some cases and gives you a long-term finish that's super durable. So, the first thing you wanna do, and I share about the sander I'm using. It has a dust catcher and it also has an adapter for hooking up to my vacuum cleaner, which catches a lot of the dust. The first thing you wanna do is add your sanding pad, and these just Velcro on. One thing to remember is a lower number of sanding pad means a rougher grit. You wanna use a rougher grit when you're first starting out or have something super shiny like the top of this, and that just gets rid of any irregularities in the surface and smooths it out. So, we'll use our safety glasses. And for this first, this first pass where I'm just roughing it up and getting rid of any irregularities, uh, I wanna use a circular motion. So you just turn it on. rid of all the rough spots. Now that I've done that, I want to go over it again and I want to use a higher number of grit uh, for my sanding pad. And that means a little bit smoother sanding pad to get a nice smooth surface for the paint to sit on. So this time I want to go in long strokes with the grain. <laughs> and you're done. It's ready for paint or stain. For more tips on sanding furniture, go to renovatedfaith.com. Thank you.